What's going on everybody, Dark Ice 1990 here, and I'm here to tell you guys about family togetherness at the dinner table. It's so important right now with everything going on in the country and the world with the coronavirus, the COVID-19, the COVID, everyone knows about it, everyone's seen the news. It's a terrible pandemic right now and we all have to stay together, especially your own family. If you're in your house and you're not stuck there like me, I'm actually uh, at work every morning, but when you're at work and you come home and it's time to eat dinner and especially on the weekends when all the kids are bored and everyone's hectic and everyone's everyone's I don't know anxious and everything else you gotta make a good dinner you gotta get together you gotta sit at the table you gotta have conversations ensure them that everything's gonna be alright make sure they feel safe uh, give them good food I'm very fortunate today to actually be able to go down to where my wife uh, works she works at a restaurant, and they were very kind to have produce for everyone to grab. Very nice of them to do, so uh, I got a bunch of uh, romaine lettuce and, and spring mix and, and cauliflower and peppers and all this stuff. So we are going to make a very, very nice chicken salad dinner. Just chicken salad, some garlic bread, Pittsburgh-style fries on it, you know, all the good stuff that everybody likes. So it's almost just about done. I cut everything. I set the table. I'm going to show you guys that just getting together is going to save your family. It's going to make everyone not rip each other's heads off. That's that's all this is for. You don't want to you don't want to get sick of the family and be like, I'm going downstairs to my game room and I'm not going to talk to anybody all night. No. I, you got to get together, stay together, stay safe. Everybody, everybody's got to work together as a family to get through the hard times. It's not just about wondering if you're going to get sick. It's also about when you're at home not getting sick of the people that are around you in general. It's very important for everyone to keep a level head with that. Very important. I've been seeing it all over the place, all over Facebook. Oh, I'm stuck in here with my family and I'm so sick of it. But we have white wine chicken that I'm cooking right now. It's almost done. It's just about done. We're going to get that out of there pretty soon. And um, we have... Uh, hard-boiled eggs for this salad as well. We got a lot of stuff going on. Let's see the hard-boiled eggs go in there. Once those cool down, we'll be able to uh, crack them up, cut them up for people. The thing about making dinner for your family, which is very important, is that you got to know what people like and what they don't like. If you're making a salad, very important. If you're making a salad, not everybody's going to want the fries. Not everybody's going to want the hard-boiled egg. Not everybody in your family's going to like green peppers. So things like green peppers, things like egg, things like the fries, keep them on the side. Don't just pile everything together because then you're going to have one person at the table that is just going to be upset and have to pick things out and things like that. Keep the cheese separate for people. you got to know your family and what they like. I know everybody likes carrots. I know everybody likes cucumbers in my family, so that's in there, all mixed up, everything else. But... Things like egg, I don't like egg, and my oldest might not like egg, but everyone else might want it. you got to keep that in mind when you're making family dinners. It doesn't matter what you're making. You could be making anything, meatloaf or whatever. Don't put the ketchup on top if not everyone's going to want it that way. You know what I mean? But we got this chicken going into a bowl. So the chicken's done. Everything's done. The fries are done. I got fries from an air fryer. Look how good these fries from a bag now I got these fries out of a frozen section bag and uh, they're really, really, really crispy from the air fryer. I just put salt on them. I just put pepper on them, get a little bit of pepper action going on. I know my light in my kitchen's like super glary, I don't know, whatever. It is what it is. We got a little bit of seasoned salt going in. Get that in there. And then we will get some onion powder, the all-importance of onion powder. Ah, a little bit of Italian seasoning for the fries. I know, everyone's like, wow, he's really seasoning up these fries. I gotta have them taste good, you know? All right, some garlic powder. Sorry, I don't have a cameraman, but it is what it is. I think we'll be all right. I'm gonna give these a quick little toss here. Now there's gonna be cheese for the salad, so I'm not gonna put things like cheese in these fries. 
I usually put Parmesan cheese in the fries, but we're going to take this chicken and we're going to take these fries out to the table. I'm going to show you the dinner table. I don't have an actual dinner table of sorts, but you got to improvise when that happens. When you don't have it, you have to improvise with everything. All right, so we got my dinner table here. We got the salad, very beautiful, with the peppers and the cheeses, the chicken. We got these fries that everyone will be able to use and toss up. Your Italian, your ranch, everything else. I need one more plate for me. But all I got left to do is uh, cut up these hard-boiled eggs, put them on a table, have a wonderful family dinner with my family. It's all I care about right now. That's all anyone should care about right now. Everybody needs to just band together with your families. Get together. Play a board game. Watch a movie. Do what you got to do. Don't just act like it's normal out there because it's not. Everything's different now. That Everything's closed. A lot of people don't have jobs. I'm very fortunate to have one myself, but a lot of people out there don't right now, and it's scary for them. Um, I've seen a lot of stories on Facebook, not the memes that are making fun of everything, but the serious ones. People are getting rid of their animals and taking them to the shelters because they can't afford to feed their family and their pet, and it's it's sad. It's, it's really, really bad, but... I'm fortunate enough to be able to feed my family a wonderful chicken dinner tonight, chicken salad dinner. It's going to be phenomenal. Everyone loves salad. It's very healthy. There's a lot of it. Everyone is going to leave the table full. Um, but, guys, seriously, just hang in there. Do what you got to do. Cook good meals for your family. Get them together. Have the kids help you in the kitchen if you want them to. Get with the wife and help her in the kitchen. Just get together as a family. Buy some flour, bake some cookies. I don't know what to tell you, but... It's serious out there, and we all have to do our part to keep our families sane. It's all about keeping sane. It's not about hoping you don't get sick, stay six feet away. It's not about that all the time. Sometimes it's about just getting together as a family and getting through it, getting through another day. You guys hang in there. And dark ice. Go and eat dinner. <laughs> I love dinner. Food's so good.